Yeah, well, what is happening? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So, some more kill confirmed on him. Hi, Rise. As you can see, the lobby is full of pretty much everybody's level 55, so we know how this game's going to go. But I thought, I've, I've, I've not played the game since the last video. Decent start. Yeah, okay. I'm not actually in a good mood anyway, guys, I'm doing this video, because the game just puts you in a bad mood. It's like... It's kind of, it's not safe for your own, you know, well-being this game, you know, playing this game. It's that much of a manipulative experience. Oh, great, here we go. Somebody flashing me again. Yeah, the game, is it's just not good for your health, guys. It's really not good for your health. Like, the manipulative practices in this game is just terrible. I don't move because everybody's a sweat. Can't even hear out. Honestly, guys, I just hate this game. I absolutely hate it. I can't get that angry with it anymore, guys, because you know what's happening when you're going to play, you know, a game of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, but, you know, don't worry, guys, you know, us, us half-decent players, you know, we have to put up with it because a bunch of losers um, requires Activision to hold their hands to put them against other shit players, while people who's actually took... Fuck off! While, while people's actually took time and effort, you know, to get good at the game, just get fucking shit all over. Unless, obviously, you buy skins, guys. I've said it before in a video. If you buy the Black Cell, guys, they put you in a bit easier lobbies because they want you to continue playing their game. And if you think that's kind of some, you know, conspiracy theory bullshit, you kind of really, really, you know, don't understand how businesses make vast amounts of money and how much of a scummy company Activision is. If you really, really think that they don't, you know, cater your gameplay experience based on how much you spend in the shop. You're clearly, well, you're clearly a complete moron. And the problem is, guys, the game isn't even balanced. You know, everybody's running covert sneakers. You know, they can't even design the perks right. Everybody's running, you know, similar perks. They've not had the perks balanced properly for a long time. You know, all the big YouTubers, like, they're to blame for this. They're never critical. Like, even now, they're all saying Modern Warfare 3 is one of the best Call of Duty games we've had all the time. And if you notice, guys, a lot of these big YouTubers, they don't even talk about skill-based matchmaking. Because they're in Activision's back pocket. They're Activision's little bitches. That's ultimately what they are, guys. Activision's little bitches. Oh, here we go, Activision. Thank you for the, you know, £4,000. We're going to say your game's great. Nobody can say anything bad about this game. Oh, but if you do say something bad, you're just a straight-up hate channel. You know, it's ridiculous, guys. Honestly, this game, playing it, puts me in a bad mood. And like I've said before, guys... Oh, fuck off! But like I've said before, guys... I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. The game's shit. The only reason I'm playing it is because I upload videos on YouTube and I don't know why people seem to like me commentaries and think I'm funny. Honestly, if I didn't do YouTube, guys, I wouldn't touch this game with a barge pole. I really wouldn't. It's manipulative dog shit. It's pretty much like, you know, the scripting in FIFA now, but you've got kind of something similar in this game. The AI bots, which we've talked about before. I'm fucking done! Here we are again, level 55. But I'm going to play this way a different... This game's going to be different, guys. I think everybody, yeah. Pretty much everybody's level 55. What we're going to do, we're going to camp for kill streaks, so to speak. We're going to play the objective, but only when it suits us, because nobody else plays the objective. Here, like I said, guys, nobody plays the objective, so we're going to... Pick and choose when we're going to get a flag. And hopefully we can have a better game. Because I, I just genuinely can't play this game how I want to play it. It's kind of like the outcomes are predetermined. Like, you know, the AI bots, what we talked about a few videos ago. Blame Truths talked about it. And then there's been loads of comments in the comments section about, like, experiences all my viewers have had. And a big thank you as well for your support, guys. As of late, absolutely amazing. Oh, wow. That guy nearly had me. But yeah, absolutely amazing support. Thank you. 
No ground. I've actually picked up somebody's gun by accident, haven't I? Like, the skill-based matchmaking is that strong in this game that it takes ages for the lobby to fill back up, you know, once people have, like, rage quit already. Like, look at it, we've got all three flags. Okay. Didn't expect him there. Let's have a look at this kill cam for the laugh. Okay. There's only four of them. Great. What, what a gameplay experience, guys. Okay, it takes some ages to fill the lobby back up because, like, it's just so strict, the skill-based matchmaking. But again, it's because that's how they make money, guys. Skill-based matchmaking would not be in the game unless it made them money. And because skill-based matchmaking's in the game, there must be a lot of bad players on this game. Otherwise, skill-based matchmaking wouldn't be in. Okay, at least we've actually got a full lobby now. Let's just try to play it a bit more safe. We used to play Domination years ago, but... Um... Oh, here we go. Yeah, we used to play um, Domination years and years ago. This used to be our main... Um, our main stomping grounds, Domination. We've already killed one Groot. Oh, oh great. Look at him. Groot skin, riot shield background. Wow. Like, I think there's two Groots in this game. Like I said, guys, you know, skins for wins, it is a thing. Makes perfect sense if you buy skins on the game for Activision to make sure that they give you a better gameplay experience. To make sure you continue playing the game so you continue to spend more money. So if you don't spend money on this game in the store, DLC, skins, camos, it's going to make sure that you're not having as good a gameplay experience as others who are spending money. It just makes perfect business sense from Activision's point of view. Great, now I can't shoot him because he's got a riot shield. That shouldn't be a thing. Been smashing the light goals as well, so thank you guys. Ha, <laughs> got you. If anybody's got a Groot skin and I kill you, it just makes me feel that little bit better about myself. I think we're going to set up in here, guys, and just camp for kill streaks. We've already won the game. But honestly, guys, it's it's ridiculous how... And again, not everybody's going to agree with me on this one. I think the outcome of your game is predetermined before you even sh enter the lobby. The only way you can defend about against it is doing shit like this. You know, this is terrible. It's a terrible way to play. But, you know, you've got to do what you've got to do, guys. To have fun on this, you know, piece of shit video game. With deceptive practices, which just shouldn't be in any video game. You know, there was this other developer talking about skill-based matchmaking, and they were saying that, okay, so... Like, it's okay skill-based matchmaking, but you've still got to have variance in the gameplay. But on COD, you don't get any variance at all. You're sweating 24-7. I'm not even that good at the game, so I don't even understand why it puts me against these really sweaty triad. Everybody drop shots. Everybody jump shots. People's got the pay-to-win skins. It's ridiculous. But we're just going to play like, like a little bitch ourselves now, guys. Why not? You've got to play the game to have fun and... What's the f most fun thing about Call of Duty, guys? The most fun thing is getting kill streaks, isn't it? And even the kill streaks are crap on this game as well. All by design, of course. I can guarantee if I bought the Black Cell, I would get easier lobbies. Guarantee, guys. And people who think I'm full of nonsense, you're clearly kids. Here we go and get this for a nice... Nice, nice, what is it? 200 XP on our score streak. Come on now, we get one with this. We've pretty much got all our streaks. Easy one. What are we off? Oh, we're still two kills away. But no, guys, genuinely, the EOMM is the worst thing in this game. At least with skill based matchmaking, you're going into a game and it's going to be sweaty, but yeah, engagement based matchmaking where it kind of.
changes in real time the amount of damage your bullets do. It's, it's crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. Bots in the game deliberately, AI bots to push, you know, the narrative on what Activision and their matchmaking system. It's, it's basically like FIFA where it's scripted. I might even put the title of this video, The Game is Scripted. Something like that. MW3 is scripted. Oh no, can we get it? Please, 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 please! Oh nice, there we go. Okay, let's watch this get one kill or something. Okay. We've already won the game at this point anyway. the problem with this game guys you can't really run around there's always going to be somebody head glitching like years ago that were a big thing when they put all these head glitching spots in the game people didn't like them it's just a shame you know because the core game and like i've said before it's not you know it, it works right you know no problems with hit detection it's just a shame that Skill-based matchmaking has got to the point now where you're no longer playing the game. The game is playing you. That's why they never talk about it, skill-based matchmaking, because they can't. They know it's scummy. Let's just hopefully, hopefully, guys, X Defiant comes out sometime soon before the Christmas holidays. So we've at least got some... Oh, wow. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, at least X Defiant comes out before him um, the Christmas holidays, and then we've got something to play over the Christmas and New Year. I don't even know when the finals is coming out. Oh, great. Drop shot in, friggin' loser. See, look, guys, I'm top of my team, and I've just been camping for kill streaks. Shows how crazy it is. Absolutely crazy. But like I said, you know, the game wouldn't be terrible if it just got rid of skill based matchmaking. It'd be a decent game. I think a lot of people would have fun, but I don't want to be playing an MLG Grand Final every time. I want variants. I don't mind getting, you know, shit on every now and then because I know at some point I'm going to be one of the better players in the lobby and I'm going to enjoy myself. It's all about variants. That's the biggest problem with skill-based matchmaking in this format. I know that guy who used to do Halo, he, he's talked about it before, you know, with um, skill-based matchmaking, what he designed many years ago, saying that at least even in his system there was some kind of variance so people would have a different gameplay experience instead of the same one all the time. But honestly, guys, the game is scripted. Oh, come on. But yeah, the game's 100% scripted. May it be AI bots, may it be you know changing in real time the damage, what you're doing on your weapon. 22 kills, guys. Decent game, but you know, did I enjoy myself? No. I want to run around, rush, run and gun, but I can't do that, guys, you know, with the game as it is. Everybody's drop shotting, jump shotting. All you've got to do is camp in a corner. And obviously you can go 22 and 5. All right, love you all. Thank you again for all your support, guys. If you've watched right until the end, give yourself a round of applause. And yeah, until next time, guys, love you all. Have a great week. Bye-bye for now. Thank you for your support. Cheerio.